my old school soul food family chef Jeffy back with another video. Alright, y'all. This is an impromptu video. I don't know where I'm headed. I don't know where I'm going today, but I'm going on a road trip by myself. Like y'all wouldn't watch my previous videos. I'm doing more outside activity. More just me, me only activity. It just it helps my body, help my um system. I have been doing that and it's really got me all stuffed up and stuff. So I know I'm going to the gym like I do every day. I'm going to the gym, do my hour in the gym, and then when I leave out the gym, I'm heading on IT and I'm hitting my destination kind of plan in San Antonio. I haven't been in actual San Antonio down on the river walk, you know, sitting down there watching the ducks go or float by on the river, walk down there eating some good Mexican food and just getting sick as I can as a dog on this Mexican food. But that's the plan, but it's not written in stone. That's a good thing about doing impromptu road trips is nothing in stone i'm definitely going to probably go to bucket's grab me a breakfast taco out to the gym defeating the purpose of me working out but it's a road trip so who cares fill up my ice chest with ice and uh that's pretty much it i'm just take y'all along today and just see where we gonna go and uh and where we wind up so y'all kind of uh tag along here like i say i have no no that's the kind of uh plan but that don't mean that's why i'm gonna wind up but i will be getting on no it and headed west so anyway y'all i don't have a microphone on right now i will put it on later today as the need arises i just hollering in the phone right here hope y'all can hear me so anyway y'all i'm on my way to the gym planet fitness and do my hour workout and after i leave out the gym we're going head on the road and we'll see where we go from there we'll be right back all right y'all we back here and we just made it to the gym. You see Planet Fitness right there. I'm going to get me a parking spot here. We're going to go in here and do my little hour workout. And when we come back, we will be ready to... Uh, I'm in my truck today, y'all, so I need a bigger parking spot than I normally do. Uh, and we'll be ready to hit the road and head out to, uh, to San Antonio. That's the destination. And so what we wind up, I don't know. So y'all know my daily routine, workout routine. So anyway, y'all, we will be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Just leaving out of the gym. Look at that sunset over there, y'all. Look at that sun, sunset, not sunset, but sun, sun uh, rise over there in the east. So we gonna get on the road here. Just got my workout done. Headed out here and uh, we gonna, uh, uh, get on the road. Like I say, it is, uh, what is the time is it? A little bit after seven o'clock here. And, uh, like I say, you can see that sunlight, the sun that, see that nice sunrise right there? I love it, but I'm headed west. We're headed west here. I'm gonna stop at Bucky's. There's a Bucky's in the future. I gotta get some ice, and then, uh, there's gonna be a Dairy Queen sometime today. So I'm gonna put on my microphone later on. I don't have a microphone on right now. So like I said, I just left out the gym. But anyway, we'll be right back once we get to Bucky's and uh, we'll go from there, y'all. Like I said, this is a random road trip. I don't know what it's gonna, uh, what the day gonna, gonna test, but we'll see. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And y'all know Bucky's from the gym here. Bucky's is like two minutes. And Bucky's exactly eight minutes from my house. Yeah, so yeah, it's all in the neighborhood here. The Bucky's here. So I'm gonna go in here. And y'all been if y'all been following me enough, y'all already know Bucky's. Y'all know I love me some Bucky's, especially it's a road trip staple. And this store is busy 24-7. Any Bucky's you go to. I, I, I'm curious which one is the busiest bucket. Of course, I know what the biggest one is. We went to the largest one here in Texas, but I'm wondering which one. This has the largest car wash. Matter of fact, we just walked, we just drove by the largest car wash in the world. But uh, I'm curious which is the busiest buckets that he has. You know, he has a lot of them, so I'm curious which one is the busiest. So, yep, so you can see how busy this thing is. It's, I, it's like, I'm telling y'all, it's like this 24-7, this Bucky's is. So, come on out. Um, 
breakfast back here. So I'm gonna get in here. I usually I get a breakfast taco, but I'm driving and I wanna just get on the road here. I don't wanna kinda wanna stop and eat. Uh, I wanna just kinda get on the road here and get going. So I might get a chicken and, uh, not chicken and biscuit, biscuit and sausage. And uh, that's the beaver. Y'all see the beaver right there? There's the beaver. But I might just get me a biscuit and egg and sausage, a biscuit and egg. I don't know. I'll make a signal. I know I need to get some of the ice there. And he went up on the ice, y'all. You remember the ice used to be 69 cents? Look at the ice price. He went up on there. I just noticed that. It's $1.99 now. The ice used to be very, very cheap. I just noticed that. I guess the inflation's hitting everybody, y'all. Even Bucky. So. Anyway, y'all, I will be right back once I come out of the store. Y'all been in buckets enough times. I'm not even going to go in there with the camera this time. I'll just uh, show y'all what I got when I get back, and we'll go from there. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I decided to bring y'all in here. Like I said, I'm going to see what I'm going to eat in here. Of course, y'all been in buckets before. All buckets pretty much the same. Some are smaller than others, but let me, let me move y'all down just a little here. Let's see here. Let's see here what I want to eat here. Go here to the breakfast. Oh, y'all be right back. All right, y'all. I had to adjust my camera here. I had it on widescreen. Okay, I'm back here. I do not know what I want. Let's see the tacos over here. Well, y'all be saying I be going too fast. Let's we'll see here. What I want to eat here. Bacon and cheese eggs here. What do you got here? We got bacon, egg, cheese, biscuit. Sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Sausage and biscuit. Potato, bean, and cheese taco. We got the bowls there. We got the croissants. The taco right here. I'm telling y'all, this is what's good. The breakfast, the brisket and egg taco right there is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got the beef, beef burrito, chicken burrito. So, I don't know. Rhino taco is. We got to cut the brisket back there. Look at that guy right there cutting the brisket. See that? Taco, and I got my biscuit, just a biscuit and sausage. One thing I like about the uh, buckets of uh, biscuits and sausage, y'all, is real, real biscuits. I know they ain't back to making biscuits, they're more fluffy biscuits, biscuit and sausage, and breakfast taco. Look at all that meat in there with the taco. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this for a second, y'all, and then I'm gonna get on the road. I got the ice here. Another thing, when I do road trip, it, every vehicle I have, I have a small ice chest in it. Of course, I'm by myself today, so I can keep my ice chest in the front. And when I need some ice, need a drink, I keep water in there, and I keep a couple of sodas, and I keep Gatorade all the time when I do a road trip. You live, Dylan or Tyrone with me. Dylan, that's his job. He'll hand me, hand us water, Gatorade, whatever we want, because the ice chest usually in the back with him. 
but that's a staple, y'all. Every vehicle I got, I got an ice chest in it. Whenever I do a road trip, no matter what, if I'm going more than two hours, most time, all the time. You never know, you break down, somebody broke down. I've had many times I've been on side the road. I've seen people on side the road broke down. I saw a lady one time about four or five years ago. And I just happened to have water. It needed water. I always have water, ice water in my vehicle. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to eat breakfast here. You got buckets here. Uh, like I said, just have them sit here about five, six minutes. Eat this taco. The biscuit and sausage, I can eat that when I'm driving. But a taco is very difficult to drive eating a, uh, eating a taco. So, anyway, y'all, I will be right back once I get on the road. I'm going to hook this microphone up where y'all can hear me while I'm driving here. Because I ain't had the microphone in the phone yet. But I'm going to hook the microphone up and then we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm mic'd up now. So, we good to go. Had my uh, breakfast uh, 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 brisket and brisket taco, brisket and egg taco, and I'm still gonna work on this uh, biscuit and sausage here in a minute. But like I tell y'all, I don't know where I'm going. I'm headed towards San Antonio. I don't know how many stops I'm gonna make, and it's awesome. Like I told y'all, when I do road trips, especially by myself, nothing against Tyrone and Dylan. We have a great time when we do. A road trip, but when I'm by myself, unless it's somebody that's kind of the same as me, like my me and my brother, when we went to the Cowboy game. It was absolutely amazing. Cause me and my brother are so much alike in certain times, the things we discuss. Of course, he eat a little bit more differently than me, but things we discuss, the things we like, laugh about, even the walking. I mean, my brother, me and he, he was actually counting his steps when we walk. When you know, I, when I go to Cowboy game, I park maybe a half a mile, maybe a mile from the stadium and I walk in so I don't have to get that traffic congestion coming up. He absolutely love it. He say, oh yeah, so that's good we parking for. I can count my step. We go up and down stairs. I go upstairs sometimes. I eliminate the ele elevators and escalators. And I'm like that, you know, because like I say, with Tyrone, his steps are limited with him because he can't walk like me. And, and Dylan, he walked, but he walked slow and it just Things like that, even on a road trip, when I'm on a road trip driving, I'm not in no hurry, I'm not on no time schedule, I might stop and see this, or I'll pull over and stop and see that, or I'll try this different thing, or just, I'm just not in a hurry, I've never been like that, even in life, I'm just not, like, I just enjoy what I'm doing, and that's the way, uh, like today, I'm not, like I told you, I'm in no specific hurry, I have no really definite uh, plan and time to be back and stuff like that and I just like that when I have a like say my friends or companions somebody with me that's kind of the same way it makes the day so much eventful and adventurous like I told y'all I'm gonna go on a a trip probably if I can get in the end of this month if not I'll do it in November I'm going to um, uh, Yellowstone National Park and I want to just drive. It's going to probably take me 10 days to get there. You usually take a day. 10 days to get there and back, I mean. Because I'm going to stop in random towns and try different restaurants and different dives and, like I say, little hole-in-the-wall places and little shops and little, little just stuff like that. I love uh, nature. I love, of course, y'all know I love foods. I love hole-in-the-wall restaurants. But I love nature. I love uh, uh, just just exploring things just looking at life and enjoying life and that's what it's all about when i do road trips so anyway yeah i just gotta say i just like with people when people hang with me and come with me i let them know ahead of time okay look i ain't gonna be back for the time we're gonna do this i don't know this and then a lot of people don't like that that's why a lot of times i go places by myself uh 60 70 percent of the time when i go i travel alone so I don't have to deal with that and I don't feel like I'm a hindrance and stuff to somebody else coming along with me. So enough rambling on. I'll be back here in a little few minutes. I got like I said, I got my mic on now, so I don't have to yell and scream so loud into the camera. So yeah, so anyway, y'all, like I said, we headed west and we're on I 10 West, headed to San Antonio. San Antonio normally a three hour drive. It might take me five today. I don't know where I'm gonna get off at. And my plan kind of is to go downtown San Antonio, look at some of the old buildings and stuff, to eat downtown uh, for lunch at the Riverwalk, have me some, find a Mexican restaurant. I haven't been downtown San Antonio over 10 years. I've been to San Antonio for football games and uh, a food show, but I haven't been downtown to really enjoy it. 
in over 10 years. And I used to come three or four times a year. So I don't know what's changed, what's different. I know stuff have changed in 10 years downtown San Antonio since I've been here. So we're going to be looking at something new all together here. I don't even know how to get in and out, where to park, none of that. Because a lot of that's changed. So we're all going to be going through all this together. So anyway, y'all, I will be right back in a few, few hours. All right, y'all, we are back been about two and a half hours we are in the city of san antonio we're right outside san antonio we're still on our 10 uh west and like i say y'all i haven't been downtown san antonio the river walk and all that in the whole like 10 years so i'm definitely gonna have to gps this one y'all you should know this by the uh, back of my hand, San Antonio. If you don't come to a city for a long time, it definitely, if you live in the city, you know how they change yearly, sometimes monthly. But one thing that hasn't changed is the construction on I 10 coming into San Antonio. It's the same thing, just a lot of construction. They still haven't finished the freeway. So it's crazy. But anyway, uh, like I say, I'm just getting into the city of San Antonio. I'm right outside San Antonio about to pass. Uh, I think this airport unit right up here. Let's see what the signs say here. Uh, no, there's some memory highway, but the airport's coming up right on here to the left, which is Air Force Base, matter of fact. And uh, I used to come to San Antonio every other weekend when I was in college because my college roommate was from San Antonio, like I told y'all many times before. We used to come up here to the commissary and uh, his, his dad was uh, in the military and his, his brother too at Lackland Air Force Base right here in San Antonio. And we used to come up here to the commissary and get food for our apartment. So yeah, so I pretty much knew San Antonio very good back in the, back in the 90s. But anyway, y'all, like I say, my uh, agenda is to go downtown San Antonio, hang out. I don't know a lot of y'all never seen Alamo. Uh, when I first saw the Alamo many, many, many years ago, I was looking at for this big, huge building, and it's a little bitty place. So if I get downtown and start walking around and find it, I'll definitely put that on video too. So anyway, y'all, y'all sit back, sit tight here, and we'll see what we can get into today here in the city of San Antonio. What they call it, the Alamo City. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. You can kind of see San Antonio over there. You can see AT&T Center where, where the Spurs play. You can see Hemisphere, if you're familiar, that's AT&T Center, that's where the Spurs play. And you can see Hemisphere over there. And they used, to, they used to play in Hemisphere Arena back in the day when George Gervin and all them, and Tim Duncan and two, and uh, David Robinson, all them used to play there until they moved to AT&T Center. But yeah, and then uh, Alamo Dome is right downtown over there too. So I'll probably get a better look at it also later on. If you're not familiar with San Antonio, I like San Antonio because it's an old city and it still have the old buildings and the old forts and the old missions and stuff back when Texas was fighting for the independence. And I love history. Y'all already know I love history. Even if it's bad or good history, I love history. I love to see how far we've become in the country as a and a, and a nation and everything. I love it. Absolutely love it. I read a lot about history and stuff and uh, all of it. So yeah, and I love this, of course, Texas history because I was born and raised here. It's, I, I mean, I, it's amazing how much people ask me about Texas. I know everything about Texas pretty much you can know from the state, what's the state, this, that, that, and what's, when the state was the independence and who fought and I, I, there's so much stuff. I just love it. So San Antonio is one of the cities they have so much history because it's you know, of course the Battle of the Alamo. You had a, got the, we didn't actually gain our independence at the Alamo. We actually lost that Battle of the Alamo. We won our independence outside of Houston. Matter of fact, over there by what we call the Ship Channel. A couple of days. And that's a long story, but Santa Ana went to sleep, and it was one of the shortest wars in the history of the nation. I woke up, Sam Houston was there with his, and then Santa Ana pretty much surrendered. You know how you. Uh, I, I, I kid my Mexican friends. I said, oh, they thought they had won and got drunk and got all partied and stuff. Went to Houston and had a big time. And they woke up and the next day and Santa Ana was standing over them with all the guns. And Santa Ana was, you kind of pretty much surrendered right there. But that's a story for another day. But anyway, y'all, I will uh, 
get back to y'all once I get downtown San Antonio and then we'll go from there and see what the day gonna take us. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, it gives you a better perspective right here. See that? You can see the hemisphere in front of us. You got the A, that's the Alamo Dome. Let me zoom in. You got the Alamo Dome right there and then the exit 141 here to take you to the Alamo. So yeah, right in front of us, the Alamo Dome. And then you got the hemisphere, which used to be Hemisphere Arena sitting up, by, up underneath it. Of course, it's not there anymore. So, uh, yeah, so this is, now I'm going to take Alamo Dome, no, I'm going to take the next exit here. All these exits pretty much take you downtown, but, yeah, I just want to show y'all that. It's Hemisphere, it used to be Hemisphere Arena where the Spurs play, and you got the, that's the Alamo Dome right there. Not the Alamo, I keep saying Alamo Dome, y'all. I guess they got an accident over here. Okay, that's the Alamo Dome right here. Then you got an AT&T Center over there to my back to my left. But I'm going to exit right here downtown to the Alamo. I don't even know if you can see the Alamo from here. And it's so little, I know you can't see the Alamo from here. But anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I get parked down here. All right, y'all, we done made it downtown San Antonio. You see it right here. And let me show you where we're going right here see what say river walk we're gonna go down here and that's the famous san antonio river right here so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna let's watch where i'm going here when i go down these steps y'all gonna have a video of me tumbling down the tumbling down the steps here So this is my, this used to be my sink uh, where I just really see all the restaurants they have right here, right off the river. And you can get the boat and you can float down the river. And they got all kinds of restaurants. So we're going to kind of, you know, walk around here and I'm going to go on the other side and come back up here. Uh, I don't know which way to start here. Should I go this way? We're going to see here. And like I said, they got all kinds of different restaurants in down here. Let me lower this in here. Okay, there we go. And they got a mall here too somewhere that uh, they built recently in the last 10, 15 years. They probably always had the mall. We, I never been to the mall. Let's see what time it is now. It's too early for lunch. It is 10.30, so I have time to walk around. Matter of fact, what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go to the Alamo, find Alamo, which ain't that far away, and uh, go to the Alamo, and then we'll come back and have some lunch here. But I just want to kind of show y'all the kind of river here, and what I might do, I might go li on live here on YouTube. Once I get set up, I got to go to the bathroom right quick, and once I go take a bathroom break, I will... Um, be back here. So what's here? I'm gonna go to Alamo. I'll come back from Alamo and then we'll go uh, have some lunch. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are here. And y'all, a lot of y'all that haven't seen the Alamo. This is it right here. See that little building? Looks bigger in the movies, doesn't it? Yep, it looks a lot bigger in the movies. But that's the world famous Alamo. See that? Let me give y'all a closer look. Oh. And that's it right there. And it's like from where I parked, maybe five minute walk. I've been here about 10, 15 times. The first time I came here, y'all, I was in awe. I said, oh, it don't look like it do on the TV. So. But anyway, we're gonna walk around here, y'all, and then uh, we're gonna, when it's lunch time, we're gonna go have some lunch. So, we'll, you can't record it. I don't think you can record in Alamo, but let's see if we can go through the back here. Yeah, I think you gotta buy tickets for the church. I, don't, I think you can just walk in there, but I don't think you can do cameras. I don't know, I haven't been in here in a while. 
So anyway, we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back here. Now, we back behind the Alamo, y'all, so I don't know if you can walk through here. I want to show y'all some cannons. I'm telling y'all, I love the history. I just love history, how things were back in the day. Look at them cannons right there. I'm gonna get over here and get a little educated here while he explaining what to do. bits of canvas bag in there. We want to make sure that we're getting contact all the way back to the vent. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool called the worm. We'll go ahead and put the worm in here. So give it some spins. Hopefully, and you can feel it when you do it. I'm grabbing any material in there, pulling it out. At the same time, that guy's standing back there covering the vent hole. What else do we need to do? We need to extinguish any flame that's inside here. If any embers are inside here, and I'm out for a six pound ball, I'm gonna take about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half minimum of gunpowder and stick it in this gun. I'm gonna do that with embers in here. Well, it's not gonna be good time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our water, shake off any access, put it in here, and the gentleman in the back is gonna have his thing over here. Basic science. All right, y'all, you got a little education on how you uh, I can imagine back in the day when they had to use the, the, <laughs> use cannons. <laughs> Compared to today, how quick <laughs> you can get off a round of ammunition. Ooh. If somebody from the day went back into the old days, <laughs> they could definitely uh, take advantage. But y'all, yeah, this is the back of the Alamo right here, y'all. What you're seeing, this is the back of it. I'm going to go back into the front of it. But yeah, you got all kinds of missions in here and forts. Cause I'm gonna walk further downtown uh, when I leave here and uh, see what else I can kind of explore. But it's, a, I mean, it's a beautiful day today. It's about 75 degrees out here and absolutely amazing. Let's go through here. Let's see here. And this is a mission here. What's the name of this one is? Let's see here. I don't know what the name of this mission is. Here, y'all. So I can catch the name of it. Oh, this is a library here. It's a library here. Right next to the Alamo. I can't be out there. Yeah. All right, coming through here, we're going to take y'all back to the front of Alamo, and then that'll pretty much be it for this. We're going to head back to the Riverwalk. And like I said, I want to get me some lunch, y'all. Definitely want to get me something to eat. All righty. And there's people going inside the Alamo there. And I don't know if you can record in there or not. I'm going to find out. If you can record in there, I'm going to get a ticket and go up in here. If you can record in here. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're inside. Uh, they say you can videotape in here. So as long as you with no flash. So we'll definitely do that. It's very eerie. I've been in here a couple of times. It's just so eerie how many people have died up in here. That's what's crazy. I'm gonna walk around here. It's not much to see. It's real small. I guess that's why they don't charge to come in here. Because there ain't much to see. This original high it used to look originally. The only thing left is the chapel. The only thing left is the chapel. 
And these are all the people that died in there in the fight. And it was all, if you read the history of the Alamo, it had all kinds of, people think it's only certain races, it was black, white, it was even Hispanics fighting for the Alamo. If you read the history of it, and all the people that was fighting for it, it's amazing. Like I say, y'all, I'm just a history fanatic. A history nut, so yeah. It's just eerie, eerie, and they used the flags here. And they keep this thing moist inside. It's amazing how they keep it moist inside so it doesn't deteriorate. And all throughout the years, you can just see. Absolutely amazing. So anyway, y'all, they ain't much to see in Alamo. They keep it real preserved. It's just, it's an old building. Of course, it's been around hundreds and hundreds of years. So, anyway, I'll be back once I get back on the river wall. All right, y'all, we back. I'm gonna ask him if he calls. No, we out at Alamo. Say bye to the Alamo. Remember the Alamo. Now, I'm going to remember me something to eat. I'm starving. Yeah, I know I had, don't judge me, y'all. I know I had a taco and a biscuit this morning. But this walking makes me hungry. So, I'm gonna head back to the river walk. Like I told y'all, one of my most favorite places in Texas to hang out, and I haven't did it in 10 years. I'm getting back to the, like I told y'all, the basis of joint life. So, go down here, I'm gonna head back to the river walk. Once I get there, find me a Mexican, got to be a Mexican restaurant when you're in San Antonio. And uh, find me a Mexican restaurant. And uh, you know another thing I like across the street here, the Ripley's, believe it or not, and they got the wax museum too. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to that right here. I don't know how many times I've been in this place. It's, it's crazy. They got a, before I close this here segment, they got a thing in here. It was like a lot of coworkers came. Maybe about four or five or six of them one Monday. It was back in the 90s. And there's a, we had a, we had a very, I, I work, used to work for a real strict boss. I mean, you couldn't call in sick and stuff like that, which is good. He didn't show discipline. He, I mean, you could call in sick if you're really sick, but just not calling in. But long story short, in Ripley's, believe it or not, they got a guy in there, it really happened. He got a, a big nail went through his forehead. Somehow, it went through that and touched no vital items, uh, uh, vital organs or nothing. And we said to ourselves, if that was uh, us at our job, our boss would say, no, nah, y'all, you, you can still come in. That's no excuse. You got a nail in your head. But we thought that was funny. Every time I see Ripley, believe it or not, I think about that. We laughed for 10 minutes about that, which was true. A nail in your head, oh, you still, you'll be all right. Come on in to work. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back here once I get back to the river wall. All right, I'm back here, y'all. We got the mirror maze, all this stuff caught. We got this little sweet shop here. Got a lot of candy in there. Got the souvenir, souvenir shops here. Like I say, y'all, this is just a uh, downtown San Antonio. It's just, if you've never been in San Antonio downtown, take time to just come and visit the city downtown. It's a hidden treasure down here. It always have been. Absolutely love it. Like I say, this is something I used to do on uh, three or four times a year. We'd come down here, a lot of friends and I would just hang around downtown. And this is in the middle of the day. Saturday is probably worse. I'm in the middle of the week. But Saturday is probably more packed. We never, I've never been down here. Yes, I have been one time on a Saturday. And you couldn't find no parking. It was horrible. So if you come, you can come. Come in the uh, middle of the, in the weekday. Like anything. Weekday is always better. So anyway, this time, next time, do come back. I will be at the river wall. I keep seeing something to show y'all, and then uh, I uh, see something else to show y'all, and I still haven't made my destination. But anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. I got my enchiladas, I got my queso, I got my guacamole, chips and salsa. And you know, I cannot eat all of this food, y'all. But can't go wrong with chips and queso. 
I can eat this all day. Mm, mm, mm. It's a meal right here, right? I love it. Anyway, y'all, I'll be right back when I have my lunch here. Gonna enjoy life, enjoy lunch. We got the boats right there on the river. I'm telling y'all, this used to be my tranquil place. Sit right here on the river walk. Watch the, watch the boats go by. You let some ducks in the water. So we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, I have finished my lunch. I am full as a tick. And you know, you know I eat at a lot of places, a lot of restaurants. Of course, this food is always good. But it's amazing. After you go to Vegas, and then when you come back and you eat at regular places, like all that food y'all saw I ate, only cost 15 bucks. In Vegas, that would be 70 bucks for the food. It's amazing how things, different price of things, uh, depend on where you are. So, so anyway, y'all, we're gonna head to the mall here. I gotta figure out where this mall is at. It's a mall here somewhere right around here. But like I say, y'all, this is just picturesque. Look at this. Just look at this view. I could actually just sit here for hours right here. I guess it's good they don't have one of these in Houston or Arlington. I wouldn't get nothing done. I'd be sitting out here all day, relaxing, feeding the ducks, watching the boats go by. So anyway, I'm gonna try to find this mall here and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. All right, I done found the mall here. So we're gonna go in here and check it out. I don't know what this sculpture is of. So we're gonna go in here and check this out. I see the best way to get in here, y'all. Let's see here. But you got the Marriott. This is where I wanna stay one day, y'all. See that? You got the Marriott there. We're definitely gonna head up in here to the mall, y'all. Alrighty. Make sure I'm going to the right place. The right place here. Shops up in here. Moving right along. Let's see here. Let's see here. They got all kinds of restaurants in them. All this is. Oh, this is new up in here. They got Fago, Fago de Chao. Look at all these restaurants. I gotta figure out how to get the entrance to the mall. All this has changed, y'all. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. This thing has changed so much. They got so much stuff. Fat Tuesdays. They got uh, all these different kinds of, I could tell you, next time I come to San Antonio, I have more time. I'm definitely gonna stay right here. You can get a hotel right here in the middle of everything. Of course, they kinda, you know, kinda pricey, but hey, you ain't gotta, you don't have to walk. You don't have to park, you don't have to drive nowhere, just walk. So we're gonna go right here. I think he told me the right direction here. Let me zoom this down here. Let me see if this is it. No? Hold on here. Okay. I think I went too far, y'all. And right, we learned this together. Ten years. Ten years is a long time. I forgot where I'd be going now. Anyway, we'll be right back, y'all. Right, we got it. I was going through the wrong door. It, it takes you through the... To the... Food court. Oh, listen. Oh my God, they really have changed. It's amazing. Got the food court here. Got Charlie's Pizza, Philly Stacy. Got Taco Bell. 
Oh, we come here for the mall. For the mall. So we're gonna take the second floor. I wonder how does that compare to the fat teasers in Las Vegas. Okay, elevate up. Elevate up, y'all. And this is the mall here. I remember coming, I just never forgot how, just forgot how to get to it. So all this stuff is downtown. There we go. So we're gonna see what's changed up in here. They got an Alamo market, let's go this way, y'all. And see. And I'm gonna shoot a little video here and then I'm gonna get off and I'm gonna try to do a YouTube live. So if y'all catch the YouTube live, today and see this video tomorrow you'll know where I was doing it from so yeah so it'd be perfect to do a live and walk around through here so yeah, I don't think it's much this way let's go the other way here where all the stores are what kind of store is this shoe place We got three levels in this mall. This is amazing. That's what I need to do, give me one of these massages. That'll put me to sleep in the chair, y'all. They got IMAX in here, food court, of course, we saw. Sea, sea Life Aquarium. Wow, Johnny Rockets, Witch Witch, Alamo. All that straight ahead. We already been to the Alamo. There's the AMC right there, so. IMAX. GameStop, Sunglass Hut, Victoria's Secret, James Avery, Jewelry, Pink, Sweets here. I'm curious about this aquarium. Anyway, I'm gonna log on and be right back when I get to something worth seeing. We'll be right back, y'all. We back here. Let me show y'all here something I found out what's in here y'all I'm in San Antonio I'm in San Antonio let me show y'all something here look at us here look at this what they say here y'all what is this here Dallas Cowboy Pro Shop look at this here look at that got everything you need up in here y'all Gotta love, you gotta love, gotta love the cowboys, y'all. Let's see what we got in here, y'all. Let's see what we got up in here. I think that's gonna be some copyright strikes up in here. So anyway, I'm gonna get off before I do these copyright strikes, but I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I just left out the mall. I, I held my peace, y'all. I didn't buy nothing in the Dallas Cowboy Pro Shop. I have enough Dallas Cowboy apparel, but you can never have too much Dallas Cowboy apparel. So I'm gonna try to head back here and find my vehicle, and we gonna call it a day. It's not really a day, but we still need to find a Dairy Queen. You know I gotta find some, find me some ice cream, y'all. Some Dairy Queen ice cream. So that's next on my agenda. Once I get in my vehicle and we get out of here, so. I will check back in once we get on the road here. And like I said, if I lived in San Antonio, I'd be out here every day. <laughs> Just hanging out on the Riverwalk. Most of one of the most relaxing places in Texas, y'all. You just spin, just hang out, watch the boats go by, feed the ducks, people watch, all of that. So anyway, I'll be right back once I get in my vehicle. All right, y'all, we are in the vehicle, headed back. Towards Houston, I don't know where I'm gonna stop. Like I said, I gotta stop and get some gas, and then I'm gonna stop somewhere. I don't know which Dairy Queen I'm gonna stop at. But I gotta find me a Dairy Queen, get me some ice cream. I ain't got my ice cream. You know, every road trip includes a Dairy Queen ice cream. And no matter what I find in between there, it might be other stops I make. Like I tell y'all, I have no time to be home. I have no really plan. Just random everything, like the day. I spent two and a half, almost three hours downtown today, y'all. Just walking a lot of stuff I didn't even videotape. I was just enjoying walking around, looking at things, talking to people, 
talking to one guy that just this is first week on the job uh driving the boats down the you know the river walk and he said he moved here from florida we talking about the hurricane and how the it was a very interesting talk it was a young man just starting a new journey here in texas san antonio texas first week of the job so that was awesome so anyway y'all i will be back once i get out and get some gas and get really out out the city here and we'll go from there we'll be right back all right, y'all, we are back on the road. And like I was telling y'all, when I was coming in to San Antonio, I've been dealing with this 20 years ago. This this construction on ITN coming into San Antonio going out, it just been constantly construction, construction, construction. I do not understand it. This is the frustrating part of San Antonio. You got this 10 mile stretch coming in and going out. It's just constantly construction. I don't know when it's going in and what, I mean, I don't see nothing they've done in the last 15, 20 years. It's the same thing. I just don't get it. That's what I'll explain to y'all when I come in to San Antonio. It's always this little 10 mile stretch. But anyway, my rant is over. Uh, just got my gas. I'm on the road. I don't know how long before I exit off here. I know I'm not going to exit until I get out of this construction zone. And then I'll kind of put on my radar where's my next, uh, when I get my, Dairy Queen ice cream in the cup. Y'all know me. You've been following me on nothing. No, I'm going to get my vanilla ice cream in the cup. So, anyway, y'all, y'all sit back. I don't know what adventures go in, but I know it's going to be a Dairy Queen in my future somewhere. So, anyway, y'all sit back. I know it's been a long day, a lot of ins and out. I've done a lot today. I've been enjoying the day, and it's still got a lot. I get my ice cream be right back all right y'all we are back here we go y'all look at that look at that look at that upside down see that that's when it's good when you hold it upside down look at that that's good ice cream right there dq baby dq aka dairy queen can't go wrong with that so let me get out these people away while i'm playing with my ice cream here people looking at me like i'm crazy Get on the road. Uh, excuse my windshield here, y'all. I was thinking of cleaning the windshield, but it's no use. I got another hour to go, and it's gonna be just as bad when I get where I'm going. So I'll wait till I get in Houston and Katie, and then I'll clean it. But right now, I'm enjoying my ice cream here. That's a road trip. It can't be a road trip, can't end a road trip without my ice cream. See that? Look at that, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, I will. Be back later on when I finish this uh, ice cream and I'll close this video out. We'll be right back. 